All right, let me send out this. This. How is everybody doing? Who is there yet already? I'm just sharing out this. Uh, I'm sharing this out in the meantime, you know. Mmm. Yummy. Who is there? Talk to me if you're here while I share out this live. I'm actually hungry also. Ah, oh, your boy is hungry, man. Have some food while while I wait, you know. We're gonna chat tonight again. Have a little conversation. I'm just waiting for you know, some of you to arrive. If I know you're watching, okay? So stop it. Let me see who's there. Ram Kisun is in the building. How are you doing? Inferior syndrome. Inferior syndrome, that's a good one. That's a good one. Exp exp um, expound on that more. How about that uh, ras raskasun? Miss Henry, I know you're watching, come on. I'm waiting for your input. Uh, having a mukbang, okay? Miss Henry, where are you?
a feeling of not being good enough. That's actually a very popular stuff in relationships, actually, where one party feel that they're not good enough, and then you have all kind of insecurities. So that's a very good one, a very good one. Where is Miss Henry? Anyone else who's here? Come on, let me know you're here and where you're from. Let me know that you're here and where exactly you're from, okay? Where around the world you're at, you're from. Where are you from, uh, Raskisun? We're gonna have this conversation today, and I think it's gonna be a good topic. I'm just waiting for some more people to get in the building. Bozo is in the building, y'all. What's going on, Bozo? <laughs> yeah, it's not for me. Just say where you're from. It's, if it's Canada, it's not for everyone else in the chat. Uh, Raskasun, not just for me, you know, everybody else want to know where you're from. Canada, you know. Bozo is in the building, y'all. Bozo is from um, New York. Ramkasun is uh, Canada, of course, you know. But you're Guyana, but you're in Canada, of course. Miss Henry is in the building, Toronto, but uh, currently living in Sydney. All right, I see you. North Carolina, all right, cool, cool. All right, so we're gonna get into this conversation. You guys don't mind me, I know I'm eating. I might be just a little bit loud, but I'm really hungry. But I promised you guys I was gonna be here for eight o'clock. I didn't wanna have you guys waiting because I was actually 15 minutes late. So the conversation we're gonna be having today is things that will make or break a relationship and why, okay? Things that will make or break a relationship and why. Let me put my phone on silent. On vibrate. As long as you don't burp out loud in this, okay, that won't happen for sure. So yes, guys, what's, what are some of the things that will make or break a relationship, okay? And why? Um, Ramke Soon mentioned earlier that um, not feeling good enough. Uh, what syndrome is that? Let me make. Let me get, read what he said earlier. Inferior syndrome, not feeling being good enough, and that's very popular in relationship. So those things for sure can um, make a, that can really break a relationship. That won't even make it. That will break it for sure. All right. So yeah, I'm on that. I'm I'm with you on that one for sure. Where is Ifia? Ifia, what are you saying now, Miss Henry? Where are you at?
Where is Miss Henry at? So, um, Bozo, that's what we're talking about today. Things that will make and break a relationship. And, of course, you can always bring on Perla to Paula. Where's Paula? So Paula can give her, you know what I mean, her input, of course. We all are a big fan of Paula now, okay? Paula is becoming a celebrity. Paula is becoming a celebrity. Stacy and Jen, the bell legs, Stacy and Jen. Cheating, lying, being cheap, no affection. The A team is in the building, y'all. What's going on? The A team is in the building. So Stacy and Jay say cheating, lying. What else did she say? Being cheap. Hey, Zuki is in the building. What's going on, Zuki? It's in the building, y'all. How are you doing? All the way in. Wait, well, Stacy and Jay still there? What is um what is being cheap? What does that mean? What is being cheap, uh, Stacy and Jay? Where is Miss Henry? Where are you at? Uh, Zuki, where are you from? Where around the world are you where you at? Stacey and Jay, where are you at? Come on, speak up. What is exactly is being cheap? Being cheap is when you are being fugal with your partner. Fugal, what fugal means? I am community and indigenous for value lovers community, always many followers, people and react. Yes, 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 Indonesia for sure. Different views about raising kids, different views about marriage, different religious views. Okay, okay, that's big. Religion is a big thing for sure. Um, yes, uh, different views about marriages and stuff like that. Raising kids, those are those are those are big deal for sure. Those are big deal. You know, some people can believe that in Christianity, other people can believe in you know Muslim or whatever. Right. So those are big. Those are big one for sure. Um, being very stingy with money. So let, let's touch that because, you know, some people, 
people have called me Fugo before, but um, I'm Fugo with a cost. Like I, I'm, I'm one guy who don't just like to just spend money because money is there. It's very important that it's very important that when you're dating somebody, you guys be on the same page. Like some people just want to go to the mall and spend stupidly, and uh, and um, sometimes you're not even you. Where are you living? Right. So for me, I'm always thinking, OK, how can I save money to do better things? Right. Better things like purchasing home, invest in businesses and stuff like that. I, I don't I'm one guy who doesn't like I work real hard. for. I work too hard. So I don't really think about. I don't I don't really like I don't like ladies who just like to spend. Don't just spend, don't just uh, you buy three, four hundred dollars groceries but you want to eat out all the time. And why are you buying all that groceries? So those things I look at, and that's just me personally. Like, you know, if you're buying a bunch of groceries and stuff like that, then why you want to eat out all the time? If you're on your way home, whilst, why stop and get a pop and there is drink at home? Like those things, those things kind of get to me. And I'm like, hmm. You understand? Like, let's look at the bigger picture. Don't just like, okay, you want to go shopping every week, but okay. Those things kind of get to me. Like, I want to be like, okay, what are you saving your money towards? Those things. The Prince Network, my husband, let me see. The <laughs> your, your husband loves you because he's low maintenance. <laughs> I love that. I love that. But let's put this one up here that the AT mentioned. Investments, house, like you gotta be thinking about those things, man. The, the little things that we think about and wanna spend money on, they're not even that important, you right? So I'm like always like, like if you just spent $300 on groceries, right? Why on your way home wanna, why do you wanna go and buy, you know what I mean, food? When you just spent $300 on groceries, what's the point? You might as well, don't buy no groceries and just eat out with the 300 bucks. So those things I think at. So people call me Fugo before, but I'm Fugo with, I'm very wise with spending, my, with spending money. I don't like just go spending for spending sake. It doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank. It doesn't matter how much money I have in the bank. I don't just go and spend for spending sake. Don't just if I go to the if I go to the store to pick up something, that's what I'm picking up. I'm just not picking up random stuff or random stuff just like that. No, 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 no. There must be a balance is very important. There must be balance, man. Like, like I see ladies do that all the time, man. Like you're like, okay, why are you eating out all the time? Especially a time like a time like this. We are going through a pandemic. We are going through a pandemic. And people just want to spend, 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 spend. You're home anyways. You might as well cook some food. <laughs> like you're home. You're not even out. You're not even going anywhere. Right? So, like, you'll find this is a time where, man, you, if you're going through a pandemic and you can't save money, something is wrong with you. Something is totally wrong with you. you if you still find yourself spending, 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 and then, Malls are closed and, all, and you're just spending, spending your online, buying all kinds of stupidness. Something is wrong with you. Something is wrong with you. Totally. Yeah, I agree, man. Do that too. And who are, what, those men who are doing that need to stop. And I just, I'm not just picking on females yet, but I was just drawing a reference to like what I notice all the time, you know, and stuff that I've experienced. Uh, I want to travel the world and I love luxuries. Yeah, nothing is wrong with traveling the world and luxury, but for me, nothing is wrong with that at all. But for me, certain things go, I'm not traveling the world and doing that and I don't even have a house. Like, screw that. Let's get a house first, let's, let's work. Get a house first, set things in order, then you can travel the world. Some people travel the world, come back, their credit card is run up, everything is run up, and they're struggling. They're being worse off when they go on vacation and come back. So I don't believe in those things. Let's see what, uh, true, I have no choice but to go to work. 
my husband is a chef, so I love to eat home. But if you are with a woman and you don't know how to cook, <laughs> don't be surprised when she wants to eat out. No, but what I'm saying, I, listen, you, you got to eat out. You got to eat out at some point. But well, my thing is that don't buy $400 groceries yesterday on, on Monday, and then all week you're eating out more than you cook. Like, those stuff doesn't make, you know, those things doesn't make sense. Some people travel for a living. Some people don't. <laughs> some people travel for a living, true. Some people don't. Okay, let's start right there. For some reasons, you there's no don't think because someone is you may for for you to enjoy life, you gotta be always spending. Don't think because you ref, listen, you know one thing I learned in the pandemic, there's so much stuff you can do at home and enjoy life. And enjoy you guys make it look as if if you don't fly somewhere, you're not enjoying life. That's not true. That's not true at all. You're enjoying life. Women are expensive. Men are expensive. For some reason, you guys make it look, uh, you know, men is like low maintenance. Men are expensive too. You understand? I, if a woman does not know, let's stay a pin right there. If a woman does not know how to set her priorities straight, then she needs to stay single. That's what I believe. You gotta if you come into you come into a man's life and the man knows exactly what he's doing, you um you gotta you gotta fall in line. You understand? The we're trying that makes sense. Don't waste money. Rich people will tell you, the people who are rich people will tell you, don't just be wasting money like that. You set yourself up so when you get to a certain level, then you're like, you know, hey, we can go on vacation a couple times a year. You understand? Because you're building yourself to that point. I agree. When I got married, my husband was on the same page. We refused to get married and wake up in debt the next day. We had simple, small wedding and woke up debt free the next morning that is perfect that's what i'm talking about that's not being fugal that's common sense right there common sense a lot of people like they're trying to impress people why get married wake up the next morning and you're in crazy debt some people three years after they get married they're still in debt mm. like come on so i love that i love that girl i love that you guys did the right thing for sure It's all about people try to impress people. That's what it is. People try their best to impress their friends, impress their colleagues, and stuff like that. That's what it is. That life is a life is a balance, and I want to live life to the fullest. Not nobody is stopping nobody from living life to the fullest. Listen, I've been to a few countries around the world, quite a few. You understand? And I didn't break the bank to do it. I was wise. I travel when I travel. How I capitalize on certain things. If someone is paying for me to go somewhere to come and play. While I'm there, I am living life. I've gone to places where I stayed at hotels for free because I'm the wise one. I stayed at expensive hotels for free. You understand? You got to know what you're doing. When I was in St. Lucia, I stayed at three hotels in 14 days 
for free. For free. For free. You guys hear me? For free. First of all, nobody wakes up wealthy. You understand? So that's why the wealthy men will tell you they make smart decisions to get wealthy. Nobody wakes up that way. You got to be smart with money to get there. And when you do get there, you still got to continue being smart with money. You understand? You have to continue being smart with money or you will end up being guys with millions of dollars and then zero dollars after a few years. So you got to be you got to be wise with what you're doing. To attain wealth, you, you gotta be wise. You gotta know when to. Okay, I'm not gonna spend for. I'm not gonna spend spend for this season. Let me build myself, or let me make smart decisions. Let me make smart investments. It's gonna bring you res residual income. It's very wise that you do that. The a team is smart in. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, the fact that she decided to have a small wedding and wake up the next day and she doesn't have, she wake up the next day and bam, guess what? They, they're, they're not in debt over that wedding. I love weddings when they end like that. The next day you don't have to be paying for a wedding three years after you already got married. And in some cases, the wedding didn't even, the, the wedding, <laughs> in some cases the marriage didn't even last three years and you're still paying for it. So you always got to be wise. You can live your best life and manage money. I, I agree with that. You can live your best life and manage money. Guys, don't be, don't be, don't impress anyone. Don't try to fly five times a year if you don't have to and you live in an apartment. You understand? Be wise in whatever you're doing, okay? Don't try to be doing all this and all that and you know you understand. And come on, and then you've put yourself in debt. It's very important that you don't do that. You know, be wise. Wise makes smart investments. Mean if I have a if I have ten thousand dollars, I prefer to invest it now than go fly somewhere and waste five thousand of it. When I can invest it and maybe two years down the road, the same place where I want to go, I can go there three times. You gotta be wise. So make make investments and stuff like that's gonna really bring you residual income, and you're gonna benefit from it. You going to benefit from it for sure. All right. Miss Henry hiding? Yeah, she's always hiding. I will never understand when people spend so much on wedding and then suffer financially late after. That's why I love what I love what um, you know, I mean the A team and the A team she and hubby did. You know, I love it. I love it, y'all. Now that I'm in St. Lucia, you gotta get me in that game. What game? The game to um stay at hotels for free? Ooh. Hey, Ladija is in the building. What's going on? Ladija is in the building, y'all. What's popping, girlfriend? Listen, anybody who wants to come up on screen with me, you guys can come up now. Don't be shy. Please don't be shy. Guys, don't leave me up here alone. We live in an apartment and we save to buy a house. Then we start traveling. Wise lady. You see us right there? Listen, tell hubby she has a good one, okay? Tell hubby she has a good one. Hubby made a good choice, y'all. Erica Badu in the building. <laughs> I love this, man. The IT, man. I hope I hope people are learning from me. I love that. I love that. You saved up your money, buy a house that house is one of the biggest investments you can, you know, you can make. Let me say it again, guys. Buying a house is one of the biggest investments you can. It's one of the is one real estate is one of those things that never depreciate. <clears throat> Sorry.
real estate is one of those things that never depreciates, okay? So if you buy something this year for $500,000, within three years, it's going to go up. You know what I mean? Maybe a $200,000 or more, especially in places like Canada, these things always skyrocket all the time. You understand? So I love that. We lived in an apartment. We saved to buy a house. Then we start traveling. Are you guys listening? I love that. Do you see process? We were living in an apartment. We saved up to buy a house. Very important. We saved up. We invest in a house. Then we start traveling. That's very important to note. Very important. Very important. Okay? So it's very important. I love that. I love that. Very wise, young lady. Very wise. I am house shopping now. Love that, Ladija. She is house shopping. What did um what did Bulldo say? Resting in my desk chair listening to this. Listen, who wants to come up? Bozo, you promised me we're going to come up on screen tonight. Bozo. Stacy and Jay, I'm inviting you up on screen. DJ, you cannot just leave me here all by myself. You know, I appreciate what you did last night. So, hey, you got to come up on screen, girlfriend. Guys can't have me here all by myself doing all the chatty chatty. Okay. Let's see what uh, we are talking to our 16 year old about money management and our monthly budget, explaining how we have our savings and our spending money separate. And when that spending money is done, that's it. Man, girl, I love you. <laughs> you listen, man. I told you, tell hubby he has a good one, okay? Tell hubby, Mr. Chef, tell Mr. Chef he has a good one. But that's what that's very important, man. Like, you know, you know, the problem is people are letting money manage them when you're supposed to be managing money. Let me say it again don't let money manage you, you should be managing money. Okay, very important. Stop trying to impress your friends and all them shit. Things don't work. Okay, very important. That's right. And that's what I said at the beginning. Not because you have money. That doesn't mean, oh, go spend, 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 spend. You be wise with that money that you have. Okay. Invest. They're very important. Though these are things that make and break relationship. Because if the lady likes to save and the man likes spend or vice versa, the man likes to spend, lady don't like to save, that can be very problematic. Very, very problematic. So I love that. I love that. Um, what? What are you saying? Let me see what I miss here. I can't take all the credit. My hubby taught me a lot about money management. That's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. Money management. My days of blessing, uh, glad to be off work from both my jobs and that. What? People are allowed to like nice things without trying to impress others. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying, listen, you are allowed to, listen, everybody is allowed to like and have nice things. What we really are talking about here is prioritizing. You understand? Do you know a house is nice things? Owning a house is nice things. <laughs> it's one of the nicest things you will ever have, owning a house. So we're trying, to, we're trying to prioritize here. That's what we're talking about. You understand? How Buying a house is one of the largest investments you can ever make, one of the largest, you know what I mean, right, in almost anywhere. You live in Canada, it's almost a million dollars for a house here. So it's one of the one of the one of the best investments you can ever make, right? So you're allowed to like like nice things, of course, but managing managing what you have, managing money, and don't let money manage you, 
and managing everything that you have. Don't let your friends manage you. You understand? Not because Paula has, you know, Paula has a nice this. You have to go try to compete with her. You understand? Make wise decisions now. When Paula is there buying, uh, trying to impress all her friends and buying whatever, you know what you can do? Invest in a house. In three years, you know, you know what? How, how much extra money you're gonna make on that property that you invest in? Maybe about three hundred thousand dollars in three years or more. And I'm talking about the way things are going within Canada for sure, because the housing market is always through the roof. You understand? Let's see here. I love to shop and save money. But I always thought I'm not going to have a Louis bag if I can put the price of the bag inside the bag. If I can put the price of the bag inside the bag, like if you don't have 500 to put in the bag, then I don't need to have. Oh, I love that. So you're saying it doesn't make sense. You have a, a, Louis, a Louis bag and you don't even have $100 to put in there. That's what you're saying. Okay, I love that. I love that. I love that for sure. I love that. That's good mentality right there. That's good mentality. How shopping? Yes, 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 yes. I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to manage shopping at fashionova.com. I hear you, I hear you. But I love that though, you know, that's, a lot of people has Louis bag and there's not even $50 in there. <laughs> that is too funny. Too funny. It's too funny, but it's very true for sure. Ladija, are you going to come up on screen? Ladija and Stacy and Jay. Why you guys not come up? Stacy and Jay, go do come up on screen and let's talk, you know? Stacy and Jay's probably like, oh, I am probably have to go get my makeup ready and all that stuff. Come up on come up on the screen. Let's talk. Let's talk, man. You guys can't just have me alone talking away here. Let's see here. Um you should be able to afford what you purchase. If you can't buy it three times, you can't afford it. Exactly. That's a very good uh, mentality to have. A lot of times that people buy something and then they can't do nothing. They can't even pay the bus fare properly to come home. Or you put stuff on a uh, on credit card, which is probably one of the easiest things to do. And then you take a year or three years to pay it off. <laughs> like this doesn't make sense to me. As long as you don't live above your means, you're good. True. Where is Ladija? Ladija, where are you at? I'm calling you out. Where is Miss Henry, Stacy, and Jay? You guys need to come up on screen. Don't have me alone here. <laughs> bus fare is like th well, sorry I don't, I don't know how much is um is it bus fare is like three is it three dollars for bus fare in Canada 
I haven't taken the bus in years. So I don't even know. When I used to take the bus, it was about, I don't know if it was 175. I don't know. I haven't taken the bus in a long time. So it's like uh, $3 now. Okay. It's years I haven't taken the bus. So I don't even know anything about bus fare. Prince, this is a good topic. Thank you. Not calling. <laughs> I should ride the bus for a day. Uh, no. Listen, this is um COVID time. I don't even want to ride the bus. I wouldn't even ride the bus now either. I'm blessed that I have a, a vehicle that I can that takes me around. You know. So I'm blessed, but uh, no. Won't be taking the bus. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, man, but you see all these things, you see all these things that we have touched on, budgeting and all those stuff. These are things exactly, these are things that will make and break a relationship. Do you understand? One part, if the guy likes spending, 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 and the, the woman likes to save, these things can break a relationship, especially, man, you guys got to be on the same page. You understand? If you're working on towards getting a house, man, that takes sacrifice. So that can mean, okay, we're not going on vacation for the next two years because we're trying to buy a house. So instead of, because when you go on vacation, you know, vacation is expensive. Nobody goes on vacation and don't spend any money. Very rare, unless someone is taking it. You understand? So it takes sacrifice. So it might mean no vacation this year, no vacation next year, because we're saving towards buying a house. Because what is one thing, you got to buy the house. You got to furnish the house. It takes a lot into owning a property. You, you understand? It's not just buy the house and that's it. You understand? So, you know, it's... You prioritize certain things and set yourself up for the future. That's what it is. And short sure, traveling will come in the not too distant future when everything is already set at home. Don't go on vacation, guys, and come back and struggling to pay bills because you spend up all your money on vacation. You understand? Vacation not going anywhere. You can wait a couple of years. It's not going anywhere. Some of you also live in nice countries. You know, you live in America. You know what's different places in America you can go? I live in Canada. You know what's different places in Canada I can go? You don't have to always be traveling around the world. When you are making, when you are making certain investments and stuff like that, it's very important that you can still have fun, but you, you, you got to prioritize certain things. You're prioritizing buying a house. So you know, you know what? We're going to have fun. We're going to stay within Canada and enjoy Canada. That costs you less money because you're within the confines of your own country. Very wise. Not calling us out. Hey, I'm calling you out, girl. <laughs> Love those jeans. Oh, at Fashion Over. <laughs> I have no choice. I have to ride the ghetto bus with two masks on my face. And Lysol in case their tail be stink. <laughs> that reminds me of what we were talking about last night, for sure. It reminds me of that, you know, we were talking about that. Um, uh, DJ was the catalyst of that, you know, she was really, she was on something. You know what's funny? I always make sure I pay my bills before I go in a plane to travel. I don't like coming back to bills. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Don't like, you know, you take care of certain things, man. You can, you can have fun, but I'm not stopping nobody from having fun. But prioritize. That's why we are having come. This conversation is for us to encourage each other. You understand? Because none of us, not everybody has it all together. So it's always good to talk to people with experience. Like it's good to hear what, what um, the A-team is saying. Like if you've never owned a house and you don't have a house, you listen to what she's saying and you can learn from what she's saying, right? If you have never owned a house before, so she's giving you, okay, this is what I did and this is how I, you understand, gradually walk my way 
to saving towards a house. So you listen if you've never owned a house before. If you, you understand, so this is what these conversations is here to do. It's kind of really encourage people. Like um, DJ says, she's looking into buying a house, so I'm sure she can learn some stuff from what the A team is saying. It's very important, right? Some people will take their bills and travel, then have no rent or mortgage. <laughs> exactly. When you come back, where are you gonna live on the streets? It doesn't make no sense. These are the things that I cannot fathom, right? When certain people do some stuff with it and it's uh, it's so unintelligently done, like you understand. And I'm like, one time, listen, one time I got an opportunity. Someone was, someone was, someone wanted to um, send me, where was that? I'm trying to remember. They were, they, um, they were paying, I think they got um, tickets to somewhere and they wanted to give me the tickets to fly wherever, right? So I could have gone on vacation, I think for two weeks or whatever, but I turned it down because I had just gotten a job that time. And like when this offer was made to me, it was my first week or second week at the job. So even I would have loved to go to, I think it was Brazil or wherever, Brazil, or I don't know if it was Brazil or Italy or whatever, even though it was good for me, I would have wanted to fly, I just got a job my second week in the job. Why am I gonna go on vacation? It doesn't matter if I was getting the tickets for free. It's just not wise for me to fly out at that time. I just got a job. And I'm not gonna go lie and say, oh, there's some emergency. I have to, no, I'm not doing that shit. I mess around with my job. No, I just got a job. I like the job. I'm like, I can fly wherever later. Very important. Like to have fun worry-free, of course. A roof over your head is a must, then have fun later on down the road. And that's what I'm talking about. Fun is not going nowhere. <laughs> fun is not going anywhere, you know what I mean? I tell my students that all the time. I'm like, listen, man. I'm like, listen, you guys don't worry. Don't be acting like fun is going somewhere, you know what I mean? You can catch up on fun later. Study your books. You understand? Fun is not going anywhere. Prioritize. Prioritize is not only for adults. It's also for children. You understand? Get your priorities straight. And you know what I mean? You can have fun later. You can play with your friends tomorrow. Do your homework. Do your assignment. Tell them that all the time. You understand? Houses prices are getting more and more. They always keep the building. My fun is right at home, COVID free. Uh, students, I teach music, so I teach. I'm a drum teacher, so that's when I said I'm not in the school system. I teach music, I teach drums, but yeah, when I'm having talks with my students all the time, I tell them all the time that you know, yeah. So I teach drums. I you guys know that I play drums, so that's my baby. There's my baby. Oh, let me have some more food in the meantime. And now you know, you know, I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things. And I didn't even know that you were a teacher that your team. I didn't know that at all. See, we're finding out things about each other. Listen to that. Awesome. 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 DJ, Stacy and Jay, I'm still waiting on you guys. The A team, if you guys want to come up on screen, man, I just send you guys the link. Don't be shy. Don't be shy at all. The same guy is talking about cooking food and eating out of 
a takeout box. Well, I'm not a I'm not a cook, so I'm not a cook. So there's no irony there. Everybody knows by now that Prince does not cook. However, I know how to when I'm home. I can make myself breakfast. I don't have to order. I know how to blend up drinks and all that stuff. You understand? Do you understand? <laughs> you know what Stacy and Jay is getting at? Stacy and Jay is getting at. You know, everybody know I'm not a cook. I can't even boil water. Right, but um, one one thing I would not do if I go out and I buy food somewhere to bring home to eat, you better know I'm not buying drinks because drinks is at home. You understand? I'm very wise in my spending. I, I don't just go crazy like that. You understand? A food is also not a big thing to me. I like I, this is my first time I'm eating for the day because I don't really study food like that. I'm so busy doing different things. I don't study food like that, and hence why I look so good. You understand? There's no tummy here, nothing, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I look fly, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? You know, I make my clothes look good, man. I make my clothes look good. Drink, yeah, I love to. I like to blend. I like to blend drinks. I love to really blend drinks up. I'm very big fan of that. I like to blend drinks up, man. <laughs> really now, really. Oh, that is too funny, man. <laughs> you look like you missed the few minutes. <laughs> that is too funny, man. No, actually, I'm I'm actually a health freak, man. One time, I remember a few months ago, someone told me that I'm gaining weight, yo. I came home, I looked in that mirror, all different angles, man. I'm like, what are you talking about? I was, uh, you know, I was offended. I'm gaining weight, you crazy? This guy don't gain any weight. Man, I was offended. I came, man, I was like, let me see, make sure the mirror is not lying to me, you know, so let me go on the scale. Like you understand, I'm looking at tummy, I'm looking at handles, I'm like, what, what are they talking about? You know, my face look fat. I'm like, you know, I go and I'm twisting up my face. I'm pinching. I'm like, you know, I'm not hardly feeling anything. How could I be? <laughs> you understand? There's no gaining weight, man. But person tell me I'm gaining weight. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? No, 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 no. Don't gain any weight over here, man. Right now, I'm currently on a challenge, a 60, 60 sit-up challenge. For 60 days. Today is day 39. I have not stopped from the time I started um, day one. You understand? So it's 39 consecutive days of 60 sit-ups daily. Every day I do it because, you know, you know, because, you know, it's got to be flat here. It's got to be flat. That's what I'm talking about. It's got to be flat, y'all. So I make sure I'm always on that. I post that video on Facebook every day. You understand? Like, you know, your boy is in, I mean, I'm doing it. I'm like a health freak, though. Like, it's just one of those things. You know? And I've been like that from, I've been like that from since I'm a kid, man. I, from since I'm a child, I've been like that. I'm like, don't tell me that I'm gaining weight. I get, you know, I have to go and work. I'm doing what? <laughs> no, there's no gaining weight up in this joint. <laughs> no man I'm like listen I monitor my food the same way I monitor my money okay 
I monitor my food the same way I monitor my money. I don't like, you know, there's no need. You know, people talking about, oh, you have to eat three or four square meals a day. That's a lie. <laughs> you don't have to. That's a lie. There's no need for three meals a day and snack in between. Nope. That's for greedy people. There's no need, let me say it again, for three meals a day and snacks in between. That's for greedy people. Greedy people. It's a lie, no need for that. If you're a child, maybe three meals a day is very important. You know what I mean? If you're a child, when you're an adult, you don't need three meals a day. What are you talking about? Stacy and Jay is probably one of those greedy people. That's not starving yourself. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't say you should eat one meal a day. All I'm saying, you don't need three meals a day and snacks in between. That's all I'm saying. I'm an athlete. I'm damn active. You don't need three meals a day, okay, and snacks in between. I've done intimate fast only one or two meals a day. Your body needs time to recoup from eating. Some people eat nonstop. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Some people eat like all the time. Like you just wonder what's going on. Their body has no time to even digest what they're eating. That's how often they eat. That's how often they eat. It's crazy. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, gosh. Look at excuse. I'm a vegetarian. I need three meals a day. Because you're vegetarian, you need three meals a day and snacks in between. So what kind of nonsense is this? All these stuff is like, what? It's crazy. Three times a day, well, sure, whatever, man. Stacy and Jay is a vegetarian. When Stacy and Jay become a vegetarian? Stacy and Jay, you're a vegetarian? What a lie. I'm more vegetarian than you, look. I'm more vegetarian than you, look at this. I'm gonna tell you again, man, you do not eat. You do not need three meals a day, guys, okay? If you are a child, you can get away with three meals a day, man. Guys, ladies, 
If you're over 25 hitting your 30s and stuff like that, watch what you eat because you're going to gain weight like crazy. If you're over 25, creeping up to your 30s, over 30s, over 40, watch what you eat, man, because if you don't, if you don't, man, you're going to gain weight like crazy. Guys, the same thing, guys. Guys, watch what you eat. If you're 30 plus, watch what you eat because weight gain is the hardest thing to lose. It's easy to gain weight, and it's very hard to lose weight. Understand? Very easy to gain weight, but it's very hard to lose it. Guys, watch what you're eating, okay? Very important. That goes for ladies. It goes for men. Understand? When you get to... When you, I think when you're in your teens and early 20s, I mean, a lot of times it's, it's so easy to burn stuff off. When you start to, when you're over 30, 40, 50, and whatever, those stuff doesn't burn off that easily. Your body actually holds on to food the more. You understand? So, hey, guys, be careful what you eat, man. Uh, Stacy and Jay, good night, Stacy and Jay. Have a great one. Have a good one. Oh, oh man, phone almost fell there. Guys would have to buy me a new phone. Uh, I'd be crushing chicken, steak, ribs, mac and cheese. What? Ladija, <laughs> I need you up on screen right now. I'm going to send. What was your email again? I'm going to send you. I need you up on screen. I need to have a talk with you. Ladija, I need you on screen now. Send me your email address. Ladija, I'm waiting for your email address. I need you up on screen now. I do, I, I'm demanding you on screen right now. I need to have a talk with her right now. Look at what look at what uh, look at what Ladija just wrote. Look at that. She be crushing chicken, steak, ribs, mac and cheese, string beans, Chipotle. I need you up on screen right now, right now. Send me your email address. I need you up on screen right now, young lady. Send me your email address now. I gotta have to have a talk with uh, Miss Erica Badu. <laughs> I'm waiting on her. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on her. Tracy Ann in the building, what's going on? Tracy Ann Hall, John, how are you doing, Miss Hall, John? Thank you for joining us. I have to take an F. Oh, thank you for joining us, man. It's always a pleasure for having you, sweetie. Thank you, man. Your, your presence was felt tonight for sure.
Where is uh, where is DJ? She's afraid. She's not sending me her. Um, I think DJ is not allowed to come on on, on screen tonight. Maybe the maybe the boyfriend is over, you know, so she can't come on screen tonight. She's cooking our dinner, Prince. <laughs> She's cooking our dinner. Trying to get me shot or what? I don't want her boo to beat me up. She's probably cooking your dinner. And I know Paula is going to break your head if she cooks you dinner. Ladija, I'm waiting for your email. What are you doing? DJ Bozo said you're cooking for him. Well, she did, my bad. Okay, check your email. I think it's there now. Listen, if we don't see Bozo ever again in my life, he mess around, DJ cooked for him, and Paula killed him. <laughs> Paula bury him alive somewhere in the basement. If we don't see him again in the live, he messed around, DJ cooked for him, and Paula probably bury both of them alive somewhere. <laughs> Yo, Hasha, I love a woman can cook and clean. All right, I hear you. I hear you.
I sent it already. Uh, You didn't get it? What? What? You didn't? Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. Can you check now, please? Check now. See if you have it. Check see if you have it. Boza says, yeah, I love to cook myself. I'm cooking a feast for Easter Sunday. Hey guys, I'll probably be coming to one of your house for Easter Sunday, how about that? Did you get it now, uh, DJ? Bozo said he'd be cooking up a storm, you know? Where is Tracy? She's not saying anything? Miss Hall, Miss Hall John. Prime beef, ribs, sweet ham, corn on the cub with mashed Popeyes, Popeyes green beans, and cornbread. All right. Man, make me sound like I'm living down south. <laughs> That's how you're rolling, huh? All right. Let me know if you get the email now, uh, DJ. I'm not sure. Um, should, you should have had it now. I sent it twice. How is you? That's something, yeah, I'm coming over to Bozo's house, yeah. I'm coming over to Bozo's house, man, I'm telling you.
Give me a minute. I'll be back. I'll be back. Your tail would be lazy and full. <laughs> Woo! That is too funny. Mm -mm. That is too funny, y'all. So I guess you'll be having three meals and a snack on uh, Sunday. That's what it is. Having three meals three times that day and a couple snacks. Is that what it is, Bozo? And some for work. All right. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you, man. I hear you. Where is a. Uh, oh. I don't see Miss Henry. Let me let me um couple of two picks. <laughs> you need a couple of two picks. Let me see. Uh, where is Miss Henry? Miss Henry is hiding all the way in St. Lucia. Let me text her. It was in 2003 that the Lord began to fail to buy ticket was caught by ticket. This you guys, guys, too funny, y'all. Hey, look who's in the building. <laughs> what took you so long, girl? I was trying to get into it. I don't know what. I don't know what's going on. Listen, I, all I'm going to say is, you know, I'm trying to get on my fitness and okay. But listen, y'all got the whole, you know, greens and stuff. Y'all got that because over here, <laughs> we We eat. <laughs> we eat. <laughs> You name it, chicken, rim, you you name it, you name it. First of all, let me let me let me mention the food that ain't me: mashed potatoes, okay, <laughs> string beans, okay, what corn? <laughs> Matter of fact, sweet corn. I can't stop laughing because I was over here like, listen, I can't listen, relate. Listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you got to tell me? What's up? <laughs> What's up? 
What's your background? Uh, why? <laughs> I just want to know. Hold on, what you trying to say? <laughs> I'm asking a question. Can I just ask a question? You can ask a question. Well, now I've asked the question. Can you answer the question? But can I ask the question? You after you finish answering my question, you can ask the question. But I want to know why. You where you going? Where you going with it? I know it. You will find out. I'm not just gonna ask. I'm not just gonna ask your question and just leave you like that. I'm gonna get into the <laughs> schematics of everything. Because you're trying to cause see, cause see, I know how y'all are. You say you, you know, this health person. I already know what's gonna go down. What you finna do to me, right? No, <laughs> I, no, 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 no. Come on, you've been judgmental here. Come on. No, 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 no. It's all jokes. It's all jokes. But, but it, it's wait. It's jokes, but it's for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I like we not sensitive, but you know, I already know which I already know. Listen, you can you, let me. How how oh how well you don't you wanna you wanna tell me how old you are? You can private message me and tell me how old you are. <laughs> <laughs> message me and Message me and um, you have my Instagram. Let me know how old you are. <laughs> because uh -huh. when you're at a certain age, you got to be careful because it's downhill from that, you know. Mm -hmm. Like when you get to a certain age, you start eating. Listen, you're getting fat everywhere, even in your cheeks. <laughs> you get fat. Look at you see them. <laughs> Just on your face alone, you might have 10 pounds there. <laughs> We a little thick over here. That's okay. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm in I'm in New York all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta treat food the same. Same like, are you good at managing money? Yes, I'm so okay. You gotta, you gotta take that same <laughs> energy and manage food. You can't let the same how the same how you would not. You don't want money to manage you. You manage your money. The same how you don't want food to manage you. You have to manage the food. Mm hmm And so, I manage it. And what? Right in my belly. <laughs> you know, when I was in my teens, you know, I, I did eat a lot, but I was... I was playing soccer. I was playing cricket. You know what I mean? I was just running up and down all over the place. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, then I get to my late twenties, you know, I'm just like, you know, bro, you gotta, you know, you gotta, cause weight is easy to gain. And it's the hardest thing to lose. It is. Listen, <laughs> you will sit on your couch, watch TV and eat and gain weight like crazy. Like crazy. But to lose it, you can't do the same thing. You running can't. stairs, run the block, lifting this, cut out eating stuff. Like after yeah. you already create the bad habit, you have to cut it out. Yep. You're right. I know. I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. You know? You're right. It's all good though. I'm trying to save you. You know, you're gonna have to be calling me in a few months, Prince. Tell me what to do. Look. I'm trying to, okay, so I've been active because my job, I'm a sit, I have a sit down job. So I am nowhere near active in my job. I went from having a job where I'm walking, 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 walking to sitting now on the phone, just taking calls. So I've been going to the gym. I've been trying to do my thing, but you know, food, you know, you, you remember the, the managing the food, remember you just said that, that's what be done. Like I cook it. I eat it, and it be taken care of. It goes right to the belly, and it's like that's bad management. That's <laughs> bad management. But listen, listen. How? <laughs> it's how. I, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> so you was with Stacey and Jay when she was talking about eating three times a day and snacks in between. Listen, I said I'd be crushing. So yeah, I, 
I be crushing. Now, now I will say, do I eat three times a day every day? No. But if I could, would I? Yes. <laughs> I can't because of my job. But if I could, I, I probably would. Now, I'm trying to include, you know, healthy choices in my food, you know. I'm trying to do that. But the cutout part. Now, now that now that's where we got a problem at. Like I, I might get cut back, cut out a little bit, but completely. When you ever ever just go to a cookout and all the food just be in your face, I, I don't see how anybody can just say, "No, <laughs> I, I can't." Even I, if I say a little bit, I tease myself, and I gotta have it. One one I can't have just one thing of rib. One piece of rib? What what is that? No, I need a little more than that. <laughs> uh both of us say he don't eat pork chops, but see me <laughs> with the gravy. Listen, this is what I think you should do, right? Okay. So I think if you're managing your eating properly, just like, you know, you can have cheat cheat, cheat days, right? Mm -hmm. You can do that. Mm -hmm. You can have cheat days. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wrong with that. Somebody is commenting on your hair again. They love it. Oh, uh, thank you. you. <laughs> Everybody's falling in love with your hair. You might as well sell it. <laughs> so I got to wash it. Listen, you can have cheat days, right? So what I mean by that, if you are always managing your food, then eventually you go to some family stuff, whatever, that probably happened once every couple of months, you can go crazy, right? Mm -hmm. The same thing for guys like who like to be in the gym all the time. It's not like we don't eat chocolate and don't eat ice cream and stuff like that. It just don't happen often. Because mm -hmm. I, have, I, have, I have ice cream in my fridge. Mm -hmm. I think I have it there since probably sometime in January. I had one, one scoop. <laughs> Tom, you had it in. It's March. No, it's April. You. Had I don't know. Does, does ice cream spoil? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Does, does, does ice cream have expiry date? I didn't check. <laughs> I mean, the next time I go and try it, I probably, I probably will check it you out. You must before. buy the little thing of ice cream, huh? You don't buy the big one. You no. Don't, yeah. See, I buy the big one. Look, but look, if it makes you feel better, I'm actually trying. I know that I, I've been going to the gym, so mentally, I got myself in the gym. I've been doing that like crazy now, right? Now, yeah. I'm going to actually have a trainer. Um, I told I told him, you know, I just need someone to help me with the food, you know, managing the food like you were just telling me because mm -hmm. I clearly can't. OK, because I smell it and I want it. I cook it because it's in my fridge. And then when I go to the store, it's on sale. And it is <laughs> you got to be careful. You got to come to a stage in your life where even when you smell the food, you will gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> just by you ever go to. A restaurant you go there you say you're not you're not finna spend money you're not gonna go crazy then you look at the menu and you smell the food and no, you I've realize never had that, i've never had that problem that was me i was in listen i'm not even a big pasta person but i remember at olive garden <laughs> i smelled the cheese i smelled the cheese and i said chicken alfredo I'll take one. Wow. And they give you the biggest bowl, the biggest amount of Alfredo. And then I did add extra chicken on mine. I did. I added chicken. <laughs> You're something else, man. Let me check the messages here. <laughs> so that's uh, Tracy there here. Wait, is that a different Tracy? I thought it was a Tracy something John before. Tracy Hall John. Is this the same person? Well, hey. Nice dress, boy. Ooh, damn. She looks hot in that dress. No. Mm. Girl is, the girl is burning up. 
<laughs> uh, Boza say, I'm cooking homemade gravy. Forgot to add it. Ooh. Yes. Um, yes. DJ might come over to your house, buddy. <laughs> yes. From down south, that's what we do. I've been talking to you. You skip over the channel. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ma, he's getting into his feelings. Okay, I see. Ah. <laughs> yes, welcome, Tracy. It goes frozen really bad if you don't finish it before a certain yeah. frame. That's why I say since January. Yeah, you I'll have to check. I'll have to check, you know, to see what's going down there. That's okay. hilarious. This is it. Thank you. So it is the same, Tracy. Oh. Why are you switching up your name on us? What's going on? You hiding from somebody or what? That was going on. You, you hiding? You hiding from us or what? She <laughs> hiding from somebody. Switching up her name. Um, going on. I'm weak. I am. I am really weak. <laughs> the whole the, <laughs> the ice cream in your freezer since January, the end of January. Ah, somewhere there. I don't keep track of that. I'm not a... I, listen, listen. What kind of ice cream, though? Vanilla. Okay, we get a high five right there. Okay. It's so funny, though, because, like, I used to eat chocolate not like that, but now I found out I'm allergic to chocolate. So I don't know if that makes you feel better. I haven't had chocolate. Yes, it was forceful because I can't have it. <laughs> but I, I haven't had chocolate. Don't think I get applause right there. I think I do. Yeah, he probably didn't have chocolate, but he have vanilla. The, probably more. The quantity probably <laughs> probably more of the vanilla. That's, than that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about that. We saying the chocolate ain't had no chocolate. <laughs> we talking about the chocolate. <laughs> Listen, you, know, you got me on Instagram, and you gonna see me though. I'm gonna start. I, I think my problem is, you know, eating so much, just to cut back is tough. Like, I'd be hungry. <laughs> you Americans, man, I tell you. I'd I be hungry. I'll eat, like, I remember cereal. I'm going to use cereal as an example. I could eat about maybe three bowls of cereal. And I usually eat, like, two or three. And so when I have one, I want more. How can I just stop? I'll be still hungry. What I'm gonna do, and then you know something you want to know. The I did something the most backward stuff ever. I bought a bigger bowl, mm. and I said I'm gonna eat one bowl of cereal, but the bowl is bigger, so ain't I eating two? <laughs> why everything? Why everything for Americans gonna be extra large and extra <laughs> times three? What's wrong with that? It was a really big bowl, and I got it for a dollar. Uh, make sure you fill it with cereal in your home. Are right? you fill it, it with cereal? Home? I had golden graham cereal in there. I don't know if anybody eat that. People come for me when I say golden graham. So I love it. Or Cheerios. I do eat honey nut Cheerios a lot. Let's see what Boza is saying before he gets into his feelings. <laughs> the frost bit. I know. I told him freezer burn. You had it in your freezer since January. Go in the trash. Okay, I will throw it out, guy. I will throw it out, Bozo. Let's see. She loves to smile and laugh. That's a great blessing to have a motivated thing. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Boy, I, I tell you, if we don't see Bozo back in our life, I tell you, Paula, bury him alive. <laughs> Tracy say, I don't eat chocolate anymore since my pregnancy. Oh, you're pregnant? Oh, really? So that made you not want it no more? Like, do you just say, ill now? Or and my kids don't eat chocolate. Oh, really? Me either. What you know what? Don't none of us eat chocolate, huh? <laughs> what about you? Do you eat chocolate? Who me? Yeah. And once in a green moon. Mm. You know, once in a green moon. So Listen. are you like the protein bar person? Or are you like that? Or you just you just watch what you eat? I just watch what I eat. If I if I feel like eating a protein bar today, I have one. I tried one the other day, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how to. I don't, it's not okay, you know, it's not like. 
Yeah, you probably want to have about 10 protein bars just to make up for the topic. We're going to try to cut back. I promise you, give me give me three months from now, you're going to hear me talk different. I'm going to eat the same food, but I'm going to cut it back, though. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hear me talk three months. Give me three months. All right. The, today is the 1st of April. <laughs> Give me, matter of fact, give me six months. Give me six months. Give me six months. <laughs> oh, oh, whatever. Whatever. Listen, let me see what Tracy said here. I couldn't eat it while I was pregnant. I hated it. And my kids turned out not eating it. Okay. Wow. They made you not like it. <laughs> Listen, I That's know we, str we strayed from our topic, you know. The original topic was things that will make or break your relationship. Mm. And I know um, I know you were probably in the chat for most of it and stuff like that. <laughs> right? Mm. And I know Tracy is probably one even here. And I think Miss Henry ran away from us, you know. But I think this topic was very important because, you know, I find like, I think Stacey and Jill was saying earlier on, that um stuff that will um that she doesn't like for a relationship is people who are being few fugal or cheap another word for fugal is cheap i don't think fugal and cheap is the same thing but hey, why why not <laughs> but i think i think uh because when i hear when i hear uh, when i hear people say guys are cheap i like to listen to the conversation right, just to see where they're going because there's some guys who are cheap but they're cheap with a cause. Like, you understand, they prioritize, right? And that's mm -hmm. something that is very important. Yes, it is. And then, like I was saying, like um, everybody was saying in the chat, and I think um, the A team was also saying, is that prioritizing is so important. If you're going to buy a house or you're in the process of buying a house, you can't buy a house, be on vacation, go on shopping. And like, most people can't do all that. Yeah. Unless you're rich and uh, wealthy. Yeah, you right? have money. Mm -hmm. But the people who are middle class, class or a little above that try to do one at a time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. They prioritize, okay, we're going to shop for us, so we let's save some money. Because like I said before, once you buy that house, you need to furnish that house. Most of us black people, when we get the brand new house, we're not taking old shit in it. <laughs> You understand? Because you won't feel like you move into a brand new house, right? <laughs> You're right. If you're still back in that apartment or basement or wherever you are living. You're right. <laughs> it's very important that you prioritize. Mm -hmm. So, And I think when you're prioritizing, you got to always have to put certain things on the back burner, mm -hmm. right? So whatever it's vacation, uh, shopping, you know what I mean? Like, And some of the stuff that we go crazy to buying like, yeah. all the time. Ladies like you said earlier, you was like a job, right? You said uh, you just got the job and, you know, your friends invited you to go on vacation and you said, no, maybe later I just got the job. I ain't trying to lose the job. You know, vacation ain't going nowhere. I can fly anytime. Well, <laughs> I did that. Let's, just, let's hear this. I did that one time. Yep. I still had a job. But see, mm -hmm. but see, you know what the difference was? It wasn't like, you know, a great job. Okay. Okay. It was just it was a job, you know. And of course I won't matter. It got me, you know, it was a job, okay. But I definitely did went on vacation. I told them, Oh yeah, I'm going on this vacation, pretty much is what I said. Mm -hmm. And they didn't like it, but they never got rid of me, but they didn't like it. Cause they needed yeah. me. Mm -hmm. I guess they needed me. <laughs> But I went over, I went, it was a four-day vacation. I told mm -hmm. them, y'all don't need me. So I just feel, this is why I say I agree and I disagree at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I disagree because these jobs don't care about you. And I feel like everybody should enjoy life, right? Mm -hmm. But I agree because what? who else is going to pay the bills? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I am in between the two. I'm, I'm like, yes. You know, you know, prioritize like you said. You you gotta have a job to pay your bills because we're not rich over here. I understand that, but I also understand the job don't care about us, and you only live once, and you need to have fun. I'm I'm torn between the two. I'm more to the prioritize, but I've seen it 
with my own eyes, people put the job first, put the job first, put the job first. Because they had to, though. But not necessarily even leaving where they are. Like, I actually have a lot of family who just live in Virginia. They never left Virginia before. They never, you know, had a good time or just mm -hmm. live life, I guess. But see, me, I told myself, uh-uh, I'm not going to do that. So that's where I can relate with Bozo. I always try to keep two jobs. <laughs> because if I lose that one, I'm going to fall back. <laughs> I'm going to fall back on the other job. Yeah, well, I agree with you. I mean, if you have a, you know, I mean, you know, if you have a McDonald's job, you probably wouldn't want to miss out on a Cancun vacation. Yes. Or whatever, Italy or whatever. Yes. But I, th um, this particular job was a good job for me. I ended up staying there for more, for like 10 years. Actually, oh, wow. Yeah. So that's a good there. job. That's a yeah. good job. It was a good, it was, a, it was a good thing. So I decided, because I'm a musician, so I'm always traveling too. So like, I don't go crazy over opportunities. Yeah, travel because I'm like because you do that. But see, that's a, that's the funny thing because we I don't. So I be wanting to go get up and go, and like but, I have a good job now. But but if if I wasn't a musician, I would not have done that either. Oh, I, I mean, but you know what though, I'm not mad at that decision because that's your job that you've been at for ten years you know what i'm saying um mm -hmm. it was a good job you know and you don't want to pick a small vacation over a long time career job nobody don't make the silly just you know decision of going on that vacation because like you said you can go anytime mm -hmm. but at the same time <laughs> i know a lot of people who put the job first 24 7 yeah and and i do believe in your your time <laughs> enjoy yourself and a lot of people are stressed and stressed and stressed because there's a lot going on especially corona mm -hmm. you gotta pay bills and stuff but you need me time too and sometimes me time deserves to be out the country time or out the state time or yeah. on the plane time i don't know whatever you feel like doing time <laughs> you mean i'm gonna change position yeah uh i want to sit I want to sit in this couch. Give me a minute. <laughs> <You just can't. laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. This is why Bozo be laughing at you because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why Bozo be laughing. <laughs> you might as well dance for us. You up. Dance? What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, get down with the get down. Get down. Get down with the get down. Really now. Get down with the get down. You never heard that. Bozo is the one that dances all the time, you know. Oh well, Bozo gonna come up here then. Mm -hmm. Come up here and, and give us a show. I told Bozo all the time. I'm like, yo, why don't you just uh, come and dance? Uh, just have a live where you're dancing all the time. <laughs> I have people who enjoy it like me. I'll say, oh, snap now. Why not? <laughs> right? Have fun. Well, how was your day? Did you do anything like, you know, fun or did you have errands? What you do? Uh, today was one of my days where I was, um, I was, uh, I had a few things to do, a few errands and stuff to run. Mm -hmm. I had a... Uh, so, and then I, once I was home, I decided I was just going to, um, once I was home, I decided I was just going to, you know what? Clean up the house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, oh my gosh. Have you ever just been at a job and you just thought, man, I want to clean? Mm -hmm. But you stuck at a job? That was literally me today. That was literally me. I don't know why I just said to myself, I want to clean. Now I have a, like, all day type job, so I ain't cleaning until the next day. Mm -hmm. But I was really sitting there like, gosh, I wish I could clean. Yeah, I don't know if it's because it was kind of rainy and I want to clean. I don't know. <laughs> it was so weird, but I just wanted to clean. I don't you know. Like cleaning. Well, uh, I try miss. to clean every other day. That's my oh, cleaning okay. schedule. I don't know about everybody else's cleaning schedule. Every other day over here for me. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm seeing if I missed any messages. Uh, facts. Damn, she's good. What? What is? What's Bozo talking about here? 
Bozo. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what Bozo is talking about there. If you're still hiding in the bushes. When was that message sent? Oh, that was like eight minutes ago. That's right. Facts, damn, she's good. I don't know. I lose track. So I'm guessing to, uh, today all you do is just work, 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 work. Hello? Did you freeze? You froze? Battery died again? Where did she go? Where did she go? <laughs> Finally, Miss Henry is back in the building. Miss Henry. Miss Henry. And that's what happened when you have um when you have what you call those phones um when she has iPhone that's what happens I don't know what's wrong with her phone What's wrong with her phone Where is uh where is Tracy? Tracy, where you at? Where's my phone? I gotta go back over here. Uh, Yes, Miss Henry, you missed all of it, man. I was texting you earlier. Sure, you're there. You're just hiding from us, man. I explained why I was <laughs> that way. Did you text me? You feel? Let me see. Let me see if I missed your message. Oh, you did. All right. You're lucky. Tracy, you're going to give your input on, um, are you going to give your input? Why do I have so much messages, man? Damn. Tracy! Why not? I want I want to sit over there, but the lighting is bad over that side. I wanna, and I will have to go change, set up the lighting over there, and you know. Why are you not giving your input, Tracy?
With what? Why are you distracting? Why are you distracting, Tracy? So in conclusion, what what are the main things when you men think, which you men think make or break relationship? What keep behaviors or experiences would make you think twice about continuing the, whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry, let me read that over. So in conclusion, what are the main things which you men think would make or break a relationship? What keep behaviors or experiences or experience, what keep behaviors or experiences would make you think twice about continuing the relationship? Some of the same things that we mentioned for me would be, um, for me it would be some of the same things like, you know, Bad spending habits, you know, uh, bad communication, no communication at all. Uh, I like business-minded people. Um, some of the things that we mentioned yesterday, bad body order, <laughs> all those things come into play. People don't like to put themselves together. All those things. Respect is a big thing for me also. So, you know what I mean? I think those things uh, really come into play. So those are the things that you hear that um, I can't believe I'm here for almost two hours already. I plan to just spend an hour and a half and almost here for two and a half hours, for two hours, damn. So you got that, Miss Henry? I hope you got that. Tracy says she's decorating. So Miss Henry, did he get all that information? Where do we go when the quarantine thing done and everybody touch you? Anyways, guys, this was a long conversation. Let's wrap it up now, and we'll do this again another time. I didn't even know that's the time. Anyways, so Bozo, Tracy, Miss Henry, Senior Miss Henry gone back to sleep. <laughs> Let's uh listen, man. We're gonna it was nice having you guys, man. You guys did great tonight. We're gonna have another conversation coming up soon. Uh well, not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm really crazy busy. So not tomorrow. Uh uh, I don't know. Maybe Sunday. Not sure. But I will try to make sure the lives are not too far in between. All right. 
So until I see you guys again, man, man, have a great night. Your boy is tired now. I've been talking all night. Have a wonderful evening. And we will do it again. So Tracy, Bozo, Miss Henry, I don't know if uh, DJ is still in the building. I know she had to bounce. So you will talk. Have a good one. All right. Bye, everybody. Where do we go when the quarantine thing done and everybody touch road?